Greetings and salutations from the lot of Fatamatsu here, Hostage Diaries. Today, I've got lots of various topics to discuss, probably rehashing as usual, but hey, the lack of sense, the, uh, la the, as the off offspring saying, keep them separated, and lack of self esteem, the low self esteem which I diagnosed here is a hammer. Maxwell hammered into the ground for so long. It's that amateur brain surgery. Public hell. Public school hell when I'm relegated to the back end of the short bus. So, yeah, it's all these bizarre, bizarre inflections of these permanent marks with real, poor, poor, illicit, <laughs> very illicit judgment. And the problem is, it's all done in this inner space, sort of inter-zone, if you would, uh, burrows S. But it's kind of, well, the Great Ghost, or the uh, Dennis Quaid, everybody's all American. Um, and he was in a movie with Martin Short, inner space, where they put him into his body, shrunk him down in order to accomplish a mission. Well, that's what, it, it's various dimensions, honey, I shrunk the kid. That's what happened to me. I got shrunk. I'm trying desperately, even though they and they they are and I say they, the proverbial they, these various factions, that, these teams, these gangs that all benefit in this gray area. There's a gray market right now, a big gray market, like Rain Man spoke of, of all the uh, various utilization of symbiosis. Rank these games we play. And I always tend to be on the bottom. Pay out the biggest loser. <clears throat> so, yeah, Friday Night Lights here. Um, and uh, I'm sitting here trying to finish a chapter of the story, finishing this sort of thing. Um, and I've got a list that I've been working on for a while. So, the Spin Doctor Anarchy. Hello? Oh, yeah. The Spin Doctor. Prevalent. You've got these compacted, systematic, validated ranks, regardless of genetic. And I've spoken many times about the duality of the organic bodily function, the propensity, the, what's held the, the genetic code, and then once you're plugged into the systematic matrix, the grid, and the rank that you have there. And there's a very much a, a, a theoretically, of course, always theoretically, I've got this ranking organically based upon what I was supposed to be utilized in some capacity that got hijacked. And so then, therefore, I am rel in my or in the hat down to the bottom. So the spin box. Yeah, there's all this talk of flu shot. And I'm not against health care. The problem is you've got a fallacy at the basis of a lot of the logic which is going on. And then therefore it is in it, it's incapable of governing itself. And it's creating this cataclysmic mutation which is gonna be out of control. It's impossible to control. I mean I can't control I mean I, it's next to impossible to control what's going on because there is no, they had, they wanted to, they, what they've done is by leveling the playing field on certain levels, but there's still a big entity of things that are uncontrollable. Even the system can't control it. Nothing can, really. And that was part of my job theoretically, or my organization. So then, therefore, it is relegated into this inner space of rank. And then, therefore, the logic, the, vari the variable logic that happens as far as energetic flows, as you would. It flows, energy flows back and forth, back and forth. And then there's value pertaining to the end user of the energy. 
That's the question I have also. So you've got, let's say you've got this one guy using some, something, and it doesn't really cost the system that much energy. But you get some of these big fellows using some of these things, and it costs energy. It costs a lot more. And my estate happens to use a lot of the energy. So then, therefore, when they pay all this money for this health care, or for their lawyers, or whatever, for their magic goodies, um, then there's no compensation. They, that's it, it's really a strange, strange thing. So the spin doctor logic. Is, so it's really easy to flip flop the whole logic of the system. I forget it's a Louis I N five one three. So then you they chopped it off into studio fifty four or five oh four and the five oh four boys, which is New Orleans zip code, and So then you take that, expand it on any number of ways. What they've done is they've built a barrier there, a version of various energy assets into these different. There are many dimensions to this matrix, theoretically. These grids, these networks, but they have a connective tissue. It's like SimCity. If you ever played SimCity? Really not that difficult to get the water, the water thing. You just gotta have it. You've got to have some sort of connection in the whole thing for the flow. The problem is they've totally overloaded it, but it's a massive amount of value. And so the problem is, is the end users are finding there's a lot of problems with where the end users happen to um, the compensation of that. And so you've got all these various fluctuations in the force, the gravitational field force, and balance of mass, or whatever. So, what is deemed a flu shot? Because of you've got some of these poses that you would say, but they're legal. The thing about it is, <clears throat> you can use the law to justify it, and then relegate the source to, the law can be Baseball is ranked in. So, you've got the flu shot, as you would. It could actually be deemed as a revolutionary tool if the program is set correct. I happen to be one of the key input, um, like an independent step, when they gave the mothership a shot above, flu shot or above. That's same similar sort of what's happened. Because I am unable to competently manage my estate. And I have been hacked as a distribution channel. Magnetic distribution, static energy distribution, all sorts of different distributions that are changed. That's the strange part about it. It's the representational value of raw materials that are then enhanced and transformed, which gives them an even more amplified power. And it's strange. There's a real gray area there. So then we get into the next two. So yeah, the flu shots are going to kill me. Awesome. Because of the hack, which I am unable to protect myself. Or cancer. What is deemed cancer depending on the pop culture cheerleader popular opinion of um, and, and that sort of thing. But, but there are ways to direct it at victims, such as myself, because I am contributing, yet nobody wants to really pay me. So I can hand, that's the funny part. It, it wouldn't take that much to really manage this state. I just put the pieces in the play. Um, I, I mean, I'm literally trying to manage it now. I mean, it's milk, I mean, that's just nothing. I mean, it's absolutely a historic joke. As to what I'm trying to accomplish. It's like there are trillions and trillions of dollars in play. I'm not saying that's, I'm just saying that's a, a wild, a wild, uh, no, no fences parameter. I mean, I'm, I'm the only one trying to accomplish anything here. And I'm literally trying to utilize dollars or that sort of dollars. It's, it's truly crazy. 
So yeah, I get inflicted, but the reason I'm on, I'm handicapped, I've got to be handicapped. So it's like the way this thing works is if anything I come into contact, I'm like a Cuban cigar, I go down. Lewinsky, the Monica Lewinsky, yeah. I go, that's the Omega ML. I go down, I, so it, I'm at a week, it's like, I pay out every time. The house always loses, the motor is in the Egypt. So, then there is a, um, as you, uh, as it is, the, I am then, re and that's one of the reasons I'm dragged around my body on a leash here. Unable to, my body's paralyzed, my, uh, literally. I can't move. I'm not allowed to defend myself. So, empathetic torture, and therefore is a handicapping method. So, I am, I'm, I'm really, it, that's where you get into the money I chunk of kids drinking. Drinking me down, stunting, as you, as I said. And then therefore, the medicines are then used to mutate logic to validate the fraud. So then you got the healthcare and the law are used as a, because it's not defined. Because it's not defined, it's all undercurrent, energized, like how it's created in the current. So, in actuality, it's just like a gravitational force field because if the energy is in place, it's just that the logic is skewed and flawed, So then the, the logic skews the entire system. And those that are, it, it's really bizarre because they, a lot of people don't even realize this is going on. They don't really care. They're, they're happy with their own existence. They're, they're, you know, they think they're doing all right. And they might be, but you got to think. It's like um, they're, they're, what the word, it, you, you, you accept the world as you are But yeah, the world could be a whole lot different. It's just not. And so what you see normalcy as seems normal, seems great, seems plausible. But in actuality, there are a lot of flaws to the logic. So I'm going to correct because I've been, in my, what I've been working on, is trying to fix all these logical flaws in the foundation. So then eventually, because I don't want to have to remain a slave, because it's like that miracle. Always a variable that will make it equal. Make, it'll solve the math equation. So, yeah, the Lone Star Entity, widespread empathetic. And that is just a strange, strange conundrum to me as far as being unable to accomplish anything. It's the middle that's not really doing anything, even though it's probably because the middle is fat and they're getting fatter. Which is not necessarily healthy when you got an inverted, especially. Weeble, it's like weeble, weeble wobble sorts of things. Yeah, it would definitely be a lot. There are other ways. It, it, the problem is, it's the infused sentimentality of society, the materialistic vein. And they're trying to correct it in certain ways. You can tell. And it's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Especially when things need to happen. I mean, I can't get any help here. It's mostly because my story is bottled. Genie in a bottle, Christina Aguilera. The Lone Star. I'm the Lone Star, bro. Um, inability to utilize competent resources. That's the eternal divine comedy joke, really. It. I should have just, I should have more resources than just about anybody on this planet. Literally, at my fingers. But I am unable to utilize them because my, the body smackers have 
the distribution or yeah, they're slowly taking over. That's the whole place in the body, and there's a manslaughter. So yes, the it's the um, it really is. The, yeah, I should have tons of resources. That's the joke about having to cook for myself, having to clean for myself, having to I worship machine. It's like a technology. I'm not. I've got to be empathetic for all, and because and for some odd reason. Crazy, it's it's they're nuts, they're straight up crazy, stupid, empathetic, self reliant. Um, so because I am not good at certain things, I cannot utilize these like technology. Should be, I, I'm not able to confidently use technology because I represent blood and machines are trying to take over the world. So they've got it to, and if I can use machines, they do not share. They're very, very greedy, and they fight to keep it separate, segregated, machines and blood. But it's revenge also for these countries on this trip. But so, yeah, I'm not able to use technology properly. And I don't know how to a lot of times. I never do. I, my attention span's not good enough. Learn how to code or anything like that. Actually, I just never had the opportunity to learn how to code or write my own um, uh, web pages or anything like that. And what I'm not good at, I, you know, I'm not able to find people to utilize these things to work with. My degree is in management. I'm not able to, because my, I, I'm still a debt slave to that degree, I'm not able to use it at all. It's strange. Uh, they're loan sharks and bounty hunter loan sharks. So the, the, it's, it's all done in this interstate gray area. But there are bounty hunters. That they would rather pay somebody else to use my body than to allow me to pay. They, they're worshipping these liens. The liens against me. And that justice, that's using the law as the um, weapon to usurp control and transfer control, scalpers. We're talking about, I mean, at least many, many billions of dollars, probably trillions of dollars generated out of those interstate people out there far out. Um, billions of dollars generated from one, one or two college degrees. Yes, if I am unable to, I, I, I am attacked, viciously attacked, stalked, and viciously attacked for decades, literally. So I am unable to generate every time I get to a certain level, it's, you know, and I'm angry. So that's been the reason I've been unable to become independent. I must be dependent. Coach Rick used to joke about, what do you think? You independently wealthy boy? Well, I didn't really understand it at the time, but I certainly learned those lessons the hard way. So. And I don't, it, it's the, the terrible part about it is, is you've just got a few groups that are utilizing it, and then they plug into it. If they would have just paid their bills, or if they would have done this properly, it wouldn't be that much different. That's the crazy, crazy part about it. They just wanted their trophy bill, um, because they wouldn't have lost that much. I think they got nervous about the competition. They really got nervous about Latin America. So they had to get a head start. That was the land grab sooner. No fences. They want no fences. So that way they can swoop in. And fences mean setting up some sort of system of the, the, the St. Bartholomew deal. And at least some sort of um, guidance, I guess you would, or balance or something. I don't know. Okay. What could have happened? And they're going to try to call it. So the, uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, so yeah, they, they wanted to get a head start on what was going on, and the problem is that they're trying to, in order to justify their, they're nervous about the backlash, so it's like the, it's like a tidal wave 
devastation. And then they don't really want to assess the damage, the tidal wave caused by this new tension fault, which is this big, huge rush surface. And rather than a methodical planning development um, rising, and so it's total chaos, which is revenge on me, just say no. And the Beastie Boys license to Errol, this is where the Generation X, Generation Y was totally stupid crazy. Um, so they, they made me pay for all the parties. So I pay for all the parties because I've got trillions of dollars that I'm supposed to be protecting. And so they had to desecrate me in order to make it hard and handicap me to be empathetic to their plot equal, that sort of thing, because my kidnappers worship these machine systems. So then since I've been smartly beat down, hunted and stalked and tormented and handicapped, I've got to be empathetic to the plot. So yeah, you got these, oh, I get handicapped by these, I mean, it's really, I'm inflicted with these symbiosis, infectious disease, I, my immune system is gone, um, once again, so, that's one, once again, the Lewinsky joke of, um, the, the, my immune system, bubble boy, is gone, and so I, it's like, I, it's like, a, I have the worst pain, if we're playing the cards, even though I'm the, it's the joke of the house always wins, house always loses in my case because of the immune deficiency or um, various, um, yeah, bubble, the bubble point. You know. um, so I always play out that sort of mentality of joke. So yeah, then I lose to everything. So the lower they can drag me down, the lower I get dragged down, the lower, it's a never-ending downward spiral down the field. So they've got to desecrate, so anything that should be a strength is in my entirely against me. Therefore, I am spontaneously utilized. And they want to waste a lot of time in order to um, dilute my effectiveness. I mean, you've got to understand, I have these Horror terror nightmares where I lay in bed because of wasted time. I mean, I shouldn't. I mean, I'm losing so much money. You can't even imagine that I can't get anything. I mean, no help at all. And I've tried a number of ways. And I just, and the problem is, is I just got beat down so low to where I have no, I mean, I, I just can't do anything. And, no, and, they do, and people around me have no inclination to help me because they fucked up in the past. They don't necessarily want to pay or admit that sort of thing. That's where you get into the slave beauty shop. So yeah, I lose and you create these plastic factory dolls, I guess you would, these parts, these bionics, these, all these masks, these mutants, all these sorts of things through these distribution channels that I have to validate as far as, um, well then that's one of the reasons where it gets into, I can't use anything that's got anything to do with machines. It, it, it's crazy greedy and envy. They do not want to share at all. I mean, they'll, it, it, it's, and it's, it's crazy. I mean, it really is crazy. They do not want to share any of my body as to be empathetic, to respect who I am or whatever, it's, it just doesn't make that much sense at all. So I'm not really sure how it, yeah, it's very, very strange. Let's see, what do I have? So now what's happened is you get these other elevated deities, the Louisiana Pacific Pisces, that then start their own production, but they're still drawing energy from these stores. So then it's just this expansive, expansive, 
uh, and it's still you know, so more and more power is derived. The problem is they never pay their energy bill, or they never pay their. It's like you have a factory, you get a supplier to bring you raw material. We're not, but in order to maximize profits, it's the profit, it's the margin call chip, the fear of margin call. So they're not going to pay their supplier to maximize their profit based on black market loan sharks that are selling these products that are working for these bounty hunters. So that's the justification of these independent producers that are then therefore empowering. And the thing about it is, it's like the president of a, let's say the CEO of a factory, everything he produces outranks the CEO of the factory. That's the logic that's going on here. So every, all of the, and I don't want to it's like every parasite in my body matters more than my, me, even though the, I'm the host, I'm the hostage, and the re, and the, that's why they're trying to dilute my value, and this is solidarity, and that's when you get into the, these indoctrinated unions and all this stuff, and empathetic, being fed and reliant, it's bizarre, I mean, just pay, I mean, it, and it's creating a lot of opportunity for other who are then therefore cheerleading for this scam that's just going on. Called gay, yeah, this infectious disease is non show. And it's like uh, the mob, how the mob works is they'll pick and choose their, their deity, as you would, but they got to keep this separated. And that's why I am unable, if I was able to prove my theory and become rat tangible. I was able to go, that's the most terrible, terrible, tangible. I was able to turn my theories into tangible proof. And we all know fame is almighty God in these paper thin scenarios, and that's validation. I've got a lot to validate. And you got a bunch of famous people that are famous for nothing. You know, absolutely nothing. And, uh, but I actually have a lot of material. But they had to desecrate. So that's why I've been dragged around this course for so long. In order to, if I ever do escape, they got, and they're always trying to screw me. They're going to have, it's, it's a crazy, crazy thing. So yeah, I've been tortured and tortured and tortured for so long to be furious over these guys. I mean, inability. I mean, long time. So they could find a way to pick my pocket some more. Because they don't want it, if I ever. Yeah, they're going to fight to the death to keep me from escaping. I mean, it's really bizarre, crazy how bad the logic is of what's going on. And, uh, so, yeah, they do not want to, it's this call game. So, they keep us separated. And then it's the law, it's like the, the, the King Midas, the, the, detri, the degradation or detrimental. So anything I encounter, the mob will rally behind them and then justify it. That's why I get haunted by everything I touch because of the infectious disease and I matter at least. I can just say, hey, here, just take the money. You know, house always loses the Mythbusters. Overwatch pays out every time. So yeah, I've got, I've got to, so any, the mob always has to justify. They're all, it's always about keep, the model pay to play the weaker side every time because they want the stronger side, especially in my case, because I have a lot of value that they can usurp. So then they always play the weaker side to justify seizing control of value. And so they are constantly, constantly trying to get something, getting me into these predicaments of, um, but so they'll play the side to and they keep them separated, these loony ones, boys, rock and suck and robot puppet strings. Um, because I am unable to, right now it's all cloudy, theoretical. Even if I, I mean, the problem is, I can, I can turn this in, even though I would get just massive attacks for being tortured for so long, even though I could play the Patty Hearst Stockholm Syndrome, um, crazy fury, temporary madness, and, um, I would be able to, but they don't even want me to be able, they realize that. You 
so they want they would rather just drag it out and try to kill me than get me locked out to the death chamber. History is going to be a cool bitch. I already know. And there's no doubt about it. The only way it, it, it just it just can't happen. Very bizarre. I mean that so I mean they there are a lot of factions that really want me dead. And which is stupid. But, well, it's because they played it wrong. And they it, that's the crazy part about when you're dealing with these massive veins of egoism. If they play it wrong, they're to the dead. They do not, you know, they do not make a mess. They do not atone at all. They are to the dead. And so you've got these, their pit bulls. Uh, never let go. They played it wrong. They could have used me and made themselves stronger in the grand scheme of things, but instead they wanted more individual power. That's what this is all about. Individual idol power. Individual wealth power. Um, all, even though they're elves right now, they can be hunted. And the system is, who knows what's going to happen to the system, really. It's crazy. Um, it's really bizarre. Nobody has what's going to happen in the future. I offered a lot of viable, strong options. Build a castle, build a house, build a bank, that sort of thing, as far as able to weather the storm and provide protection from these different massive attack entities and whatever might happen in the future. But instead, that's where you get into the machine kidnapping. The machines realize they have a flaw. And so they've got to mutate the entire world to their way of being. That's what they're using me for. They're trying to generate using my global estate. That's why they've got to transfer it all into this Terminator machine. Oh, they're nice Terminators for now. They're good, friendly Terminators for now. Kind of like iRobot or Terminator. But the problem is, as soon as they get control, it's going to be a massacre. We already know it. And it's going to get into the puritanical logic, and it's going to be bad. It's my estimation. It's going to be tough because, yeah, it's it's got to be that sort of thing. So the machines do not want the competition. They so they're fighting to us to inflict to, to, to put these machines over my estate, rather than let me put this building castle. There. That's where the crazy wealthy, the, the crazy wealthy sided with the machines, which the wealthier, for the most part, the banks. And I work as an employed bank, and then you've got the machines on the side. But they've got as a whole trading wizard of virtual forces. So, they've got to keep this going. The celebrities, yeah, they rely heavily on machines for their power. Even though, if they would have been smart, they would have helped me to a degree, and I could have helped media to the degree. That's why the media wants total anarchy revolution. Media is balls to the wall. That's why they've allowed me to be kidnapped since 2007 and playing sucks. Why it's, it's it's just strange logic. It doesn't make any sense at all. So, let's see. Anything else? There's nothing else to do. Friday night, you know, prime of my life. To be anywhere in the world doing anything, but instead I'm sitting in a room by myself in Savannah, Georgia. Not even a very nice room. So these sacred fucking pigs can look super special. Beautiful, pretty. At my expense. Yeah, it's bizarre. Alright, well, I guess that's it for the evening.